Hi, I'm Mary Gannon, Senior Editor with Fluid Power World, and today I'm here with Mark Hoffman from Rota Engineering. Hi, I'm Mark Hoffman with Rota Engineering. I'm the Vice President of Sales and Marketing for the Mobile and Industrial Group. And we're going to talk a little bit about Rota's uh, technology. We've got a couple different products here, so we're going to delve into a little bit about the company and uh, the Hall Effect technology. So what do you want to talk about first, Mark? Great. Well, what I wanted to just kind of start with is uh, Rota Engineering has been manufacturing position sensors since the early 90s. We actually started in the subsea, the uh, oil and gas market, where we are still a predominant player today. But my focus is more on the mobile market where we might see applications in military, agriculture, construction, mining, just to name a few. And what we focus on is the Hall Effect technology. So what we have here is a PC board with Hall Effect chips on it, and that goes inside of a mechanical package. Uh, the Hall Effect technology is basically made of two components, really. You've got the sensor mm -hmm. along with the magnet. Okay. And what happens is, as the magnet moves along the body of the transducer, those Hall chips respond to that, and a signal is sent to the microprocessor that then tells it to output a current or a voltage or a digital output for the customer to use. Right. Now, why is Hall Effect technology used? Why is it better than other sensing technologies that are available? The reason that we do uh, so well in the mobile market is the Hall Effect technology allows us to make very small packages. Okay. And what that means for the end user is you can put this technology into very small cylinders without changing the pin-to-pin -pin dimensions. Okay. That is the holy grail for the cylinder uh, user. They want to have the same turning capability, the okay. same lifting capability. As soon as you add length to the cylinder, you start to lose some of that competitiveness. Okay, great. And one of the other great points with this technology is that it just has very high vibration capability. So it's really well suited for the mobile market. Right, it's not sensitive to all that activity that's happening. Exactly, exactly. And another one of the nice things is the technology has a 60-year MTBF. Right. So, some of the applications we see are steering, depth control, believe it or not, electronic cushioning where you had heard about hydraulic cushioning in mm -hmm. cylinders in the past. Sure. They're actually using our sensors for electronic cushioning, oh, wow. taking that added expense out of the cylinder and doing it electronically. Very cool. And there are even some people that are starting to do electronic rephasing. So, instead of rephasing in the cylinder, again, take that out, do it electronically. Now, are those mounted inside or outside of the cylinder? Which, what, what design do we have here that we're kind of talking about a little The bit? design we have here is uh, internal, so you can see what we've done. This is actually an interesting application. This is for a horse treadmill. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just to give you an idea that these are used in all sorts of areas. That's pretty cool. Why it, would they use a horse treadmill? Is it to like practice for? It, well, exactly. Uh, I kind of laughed when they first told me too, and they explained that these are multi-million dollar thoroughbreds. Wow. They have to be trained and exercised every day. So if it's raining and it's a muddy field, they don't want to risk losing that investment. Absolutely. So they'll bring them inside. And just like they do with humans, they'll put sensors on their body and they'll start to monitor their heart rate, elevate the the track and everything. It's, it's very impressive. Great. But as you can see here, we actually have the sensor embedded inside the cylinder. So the rod has been gun drilled. Now in this model, obviously, it's been cut away so that we can actually sure. see the gun drilling hole mm -hmm. with the sensor inside and then the electrical connector so that all you do is apply power and you get a proportional electrical signal out based on position. So this sounds like a very custom application, Mark. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, it is a custom application, but we are striving to have more standardized products. But as always, we're an engineering company. So please, you know, we'd ask you to visit us at rota-eng.com and let us know your applications and see how we can solve them. Great. Thank you. And thanks for being here with us. And as always, visit www.fluepowerworld.com for more videos. Thanks for watching.